In this tutorial, I'm going to talk to you about a little bit about Gravatar. Uh, Gravatars are little images that you find next to articles, um, comments on websites. And I'm going to show you an example of this. So here's an article that I wrote for a, for a magazine. And um, you'll see on the top left-hand side, there's a little image there. And that's, that's tied to my author name, which is tied to my email address. And then you'll notice as we go down, there's the same image again. And then it has my biography from WordPress included with it. Okay? And then you'll notice that some people don't have Gravatar images. Okay? This, this gentleman does. Okay? Um, so you can see the people that do have their Gravatar images. And you'll see this across the web. Um, with, with the little icons next to people's names. Now, each icon is, is tied to an email address. So you could have five email addresses on your Gravatar account, and each one can have a different image. So you can have your business one and your personal one. Okay? And you can have you know, different images for different email addresses. So when you make a comment or you write an article, that image should appear next to that article if your site's set up correctly. Okay? Um, so there you go. So that's basically what a Gravatar is. And now I'm going to show you actually how to use Gravatar.com. The first thing you'll do when you come to Gravatar.com is enter your email address if you're not already signed up. This will then send an email to your email account to verify your account. Once you've done that, you'll just go through the sign-up process. So what, what I'm going to do is assume that you've done this now for your email address. You can add all your email addresses if you like, but it's best to just do one first and then add the rest through the admin so you've only got one login. Okay? So you put your email address in there and then you sign in. Uh, once, once you've uh, got the email, you've, you've verified the email, you'll then be prompted to join and sign up and sign in. Once you're signed in, you can upload all your images. You'll notice that I've rated every image G. That means it'll be it'll it'll display on every single site. Okay. So there you go. There, these are all the email addresses I've got, and there they're all the images I've got tied to each email address. Okay. So what you'll do is you'd add a new email, and then you just sign an image. You just upload an image, and then it asks you to create a, a, a square image from that image you've uploaded, and then you could just use that. It's all very simple. Um, and, and it's very easy to use, so I suggest you just jump in there and do it and then test your website to see if uh, with after about half an hour your image should start appearing next to all your comments and next to all your articles. Okay, so that's how you use Gravatar. You can have as many email accounts as you like with as many images, there's no limit. Um, and uh, yeah, go from there.